please welcome to Ignite Denver 13, Danielle Edmonds. When I was younger, I swam competitively here in Colorado. My coach would walk up and down the side of the pool, and as he would tell us our workout, he would, we would all claim, do we have to? He would stop. He, he enjoyed the game. He said, no, there's only two things in life you have to, die and pay taxes. Ironically, these are two things adults don't want to talk about. And what I learned firsthand six years ago, when my mom passed away, these are things that you need to talk to with your family or at least someone you trust. Trust. Um, oh my gosh, I just totally blanked. Um, my mom was a stay-at-home mom. She had some simple investments, IRAs, and a life, and poli life insurance policy. I can't imagine grieving and having to dig through a pile like this and try and find everything. My Since then, we've had some family members and friends who have passed away. My father did three things during that time before my mom that really helped us. First, he started doing something. He actually took action and took all of the financial documents he had and he put them all in one place. Sure, how many of you I'm sure out there want to clean your office? Yeah, most of us do. But the thing about doing this whole process is you have to take action. You have to get all your financial papers together. The second thing my dad did really well is he started to organize everything. And he organized things into a filing cabinet, safe deposit box, and of course he has some things on his computer. In the filing cabinet, my dad actually organized his financial papers in the following manner. He took and put all his personal and his employment stuff in the very first file, like your pay stubs. Then he has all of his income taxes, both his personal as well as his business. The financials he has, his, in his financial uh, folder he has his bank statements, his savings accounts, housing of course is the mortgage. Credit card, he has his, in the credit folder he has both his credit card as well as any lines of credit. Under consumer purchases, this is where he's put like his new couch and his television. I personally have snuck a couple times hoping to see a yacht, but it hasn't happened yet. Under insurance, this is where the disability, the life insurance policies are. Under investments, it's the 401k, the IRAs, and also the stock brokerage and statements. And if you, if, if you know someone who's super organized, you want to make sure they also have their estate planning and wills in the, the filing cabinet as well. As you can see, most of the filing cabinet is only about stuff that's, that happens on a monthly, if not only a yearly basis. But what goes into the safe deposit box is actually the really important stuff. A birth, a marriage, and in my case, a death certificate. If you can, you want to do a master list of a checking and savings, a line of credit and credit cards so that someone knows everything. My dad actually has uh, all the key documents like mortgage and automobile titles in the safe deposit box. And of course, if he had any collectibles and a copy of the will. Just like you, my father has finally decided to join the computer age. He now banks online. Uh, many of you might have seen a lot of these documents and get them only online. That's great. Just make sure somebody knows how to access it. Nothing could be worse than having draw money being taken out of your checking account long after someone's passed away. All of this, my dad does year after year. He's got this down to a science. It probably takes him little to no time whatsoever. In the beginning, it might take you a while, but it gets easier year after year. But that's the third thing. It's really important that you continue doing this. As you can see, my dad is really organized. He started with the process of getting all the financial documents. He's organized them into a filing cabinet, safe deposit box, and of course, he has his computer. And he does this year after year. Something like this is priceless. It's a huge help to know that all of this is already organized for us. When my father passes away, my brother and I will grieve. And believe it or not, with time, we'll be okay. But what's nice with this whole process of him organizing all of those paperwork, uh, the paperwork, is that we can actually honor his legacy after he passes. Can I say with certain that we have thought of everything? <laughs> Absolutely not. As Benjamin Franklin said, but in this world, nothing can be said to be certain except for tax, death and taxes. My name is Danielle Edmonds. I'm an enrolled agent, 
certified to prepare income taxes and, and represent people before the IRS. Please email me a death and taxes checklist if you would like a complete checklist of all the financial documents you need to have, how to file them, and how long to keep them.